All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you, just like me. All right, going to be talking about Aerosmith. Kind of breaking news if you're an Aerosmith fan, you want to go see Aerosmith again. I didn't expect this. Uh, here's Pebble Man. If you like Aerosmith and you want something hard rocking and a little bit bluesy, this is their album, Superfied. <laughs> it's Superfied. Um, really great music again these guys are from south africa so i'm not sure you're going to be able to go and see them play live but they do play out and about near where they live maybe they'll come to the states someday of course uh, people would have to be playing their music here in the states um, this one courtesy of groove yard records pebble man right there great stuff hard rocking blues music much like aerosmith uh, and uh, Joe Perry is out there, of course, telling people about his own tour. But uh, now we've got this announcement that uh, Perry says the band will kick off a 40 plus date U.S. tour in September, uh, according to the Boston Globe, that will stretch into 2024. An announcement uh, should come within the next two weeks when the Rock and Roll Hall of Famers make an appearance on the Howard Stern Show. Oh boy, my favorite show. Anyway, I'm glad it's uh, breaking before uh, they go on uh, the Stern Show. Perry told Joe Rock, don't you love that? His name is Joe Rock of WBAB Radio, that it's unlikely Aerosmith's upcoming tour will feature the return of drummer Joey Kramer, who announced in 2022 that he would sit out the band's concerts last year. By the way, those concerts really didn't materialize. So I'm thinking that if Joey Kramer can play, uh, he would play for this upcoming tour, but it doesn't appear that he's going to be playing. Perry said, that's probably one of the hardest things. I've got to say drumming is probably one of the most athletic parts of playing in a band. If you remember, there was a little bit of acrimony that went on between Kramer and the rest of the band, and it didn't seem like that old school Aerosmith brotherhood. You know, I think there's probably a way to accommodate Joey Kramer, but he's decided to sit it out. His wife passed away, I think last year or maybe the year before, and that was kind of a weird situation. I'm not going to get into it but it, it didn't it didn't seem like we had all the information there and not that i'm trying to dig or pry or invade anyone's privacy but um i don't know uh it just seemed a little odd uh they seem like a really great couple together too um uh, but she's not here anymore so i'm thinking that maybe he's just had enough of the world and wants to just chill back sit back chill out whatever i'm trying to say here um Anyway, Perry just says, hey, drumming is really hard. It's physically difficult, mostly because, you know, he's been beating himself up for the last 50 years. So uh, he's still officially a member of the band, but I don't think he's going to be sitting behind the drums, at least for this next run. Other than that, I really can't say. So he's basically just telling everybody, uh, no Joey Kramer. I'm actually pretty impressed that we went from Steven Tyler back in rehab, Steven Tyler uh, not feeling well, canceling the Vegas residency. Perry announces his tour, which, you know, to me, that kind of signaled, look, I'm just going to move on without these guys for now. Um, and it's kind of a high profile album that he's put out. He's got a lot of uh, special guest musicians and so forth. So it kind of looked like he was just saying, you know what, I'm not going to wait for Steven anymore. I'm not going to worry about the uh, Aerosmith reunion. Anyway, they go on in this article, John Douglas has been filling in on drums for Kramer, whose wife, here it is, Linda Gale Kramer, died last June at the age of 55. Oh, and look what they said, no cause of death has been revealed. So the article actually does uh, mention this, and it's kind of a cut and paste segment. I'm surprised that they included the no cause of death has been revealed. Um, but that's what I was trying to say. Those circumstances looked a little bit weird and it looked a little peculiar 
especially uh, since this is stuff I talk about, and I did mention it at the time. Um, we don't know. They're not going to tell anybody. This is, folks, if we would just tell the truth on a few subjects, um, we could save the world a lot of problems moving forward. But I do think that this Aerosmith tour is a big deal if you're a fan. Now, of course, we'll see if the tour actually happens, right? Let's see if, you know, the band plays a couple of dates and then they have to cancel a bunch of dates. Um, I'm wondering if all these restrictions are going to remain in place and there are going to be all kinds of insurance policies that need to be taken out because of certain floating dangerous particles that may affect the band or the audience. And anyway, I just three plus years, it's just, I've had enough. I've had enough of even knowing that this stuff is still going on. I mean, it happened to the band, yes, over in the UK, where they couldn't get insurance for their shows based on what? The war in Ukraine and then the thing demic, which is never ending over in parts of Europe. It's just going to go on and then they're going to change the name of it to something else. Uh, and meanwhile, people can't go out to see their favorite rock band because it's too expensive for them to get insurance for the gig. I mean, insurance for what? You know, I mean, this is just, it should just be a rule that you can't sue anybody because you decided to go to a concert event and you got sick, which you might've gotten sick anyway, like five or 10 years ago, this would have happened. And that would have been what? Nobody's fault, nobody's fault. But uh, this is the world we're living in. So kind of breaking news for you Aerosmith fans. I really thought these guys might be toast. I just thought, hey, Steven Tyler, you know, he's probably not able to do what he once did. And Joe Perry was moving on. He's got the solo album. He's got the guest musicians. He's got a little tour going himself. So anyway, folks, here's Pebble Man again. Hard rocking stuff from the country of South Africa. I know people probably don't think, hey, um, <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the mecca for this kind of music, but it is really good. So you should check it out. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover or a band by its country of origin. I don't know. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I say this all the time. We really have to work on the algorithm here. I put out content almost every day. Um, the channel is like seven years old, 66,000, I think, something like that, subscribers. Um, it's good, but I've noticed, uh, again, comparing... Certain videos I put out, other videos I see. Uh, a lot of times I cover things in a way that uh, no one else does. And I'm thinking, you know, share the video, like the video. If you can help me out on Patreon, we've had a few patrons uh, come on board since this little journey thing, which I'm gonna be discussing again. Um, and I appreciate that. But also if you can watch all the videos I put out, did a great interview with the Frost Duo about you know, the last 30 years of um, ridiculousness in the music industry. And I think they and I made some good points and it was a good conversation. You know, it, it can't always be about scandal, people. I mean, you know, otherwise this would be TMZ and uh, <laughs> I'm not TMZ. I like to talk about music, hence uh, here's a band that I'm trying to tell people about. All right, I'm done. I'm way overdue. See you soon.